What's up guys? Today on Luke Learns we're going to talk about this tripod, the Rangers 57 tripod and why it might just be the best choice if you go mirrorless with your camera. So I shoot with a G7. We'll, we'll retry in a second. Awkward. So I shoot with the Lumix G7. I love this tripod because it's light and the G7 sits on it just perfectly. I also just want to mention I do have a pan and tilt head that is replaceable with this so if anyone wanted to know the Rangers 57 you can mount a different head on. This head however which will be the first thing we talk about is awesome. So, so you do have the knobs that have a little bit of rubber on them and it's real easy to tighten and loosen these knobs so for the ball head I just want to say that it is extremely smooth and it uh, locks into place it's very sturdy if you have a mirrorless camera which is lighter you will never have an issue like never about this thing loosening up on you you can set it it has a little notch in the top here and you can set it in there for shooting vertical or when when the situation calls for it it does invert inside the tripod just by unscrewing this bottom lever and then flipping it so it's just easy to do so let's talk about the legs the legs when it's in the traveling uh, travel mode this is it it does come with a bag and it's I don't know it's small man. it's small and it's light like literally two pounds ish the legs just fold back down and there is tension on it the tripod does come with allen wrenches allen keys so you can adjust uh, the tension if it ever does loosen up so the latches themselves are these little pull tab fold them up to the notches lock it in up pull it up lock it in so once it's locked in it feels pretty stable on those three on the three settings it's got you can adjust all kinds of different positions if you were to need to maybe shoot on, a, on an angle or something it's just convenient my other tripods are cheap and they don't do this this tripod goes for about $69 on Amazon I'll link it below if you are interested go check it out so the shaft on here is these twist knobs twist knobs that's technical I think you can lift it up fully extended this tripod goes I think five feet I'm pretty sure I'd have to look five feet fully extended this tripod goes up to five feet which is plenty for me I don't know about you guys there's other tripods that extend way higher but this is a travel tripod so the whole mission is to be small aesthetically this thing is pleasing to the eye it's copper it's black it looks professional it looks sturdy mounted on my with my G7 this thing looks dope if that's something that you're like kind of into is something that looks professional I believe it does it's not you can tell it's not your everyday cheap tripod unless maybe somebody out there knows tripods better let's go back to the head here the quick release plate does have a screw you could use an allen key to tighten it a, a screwdriver and it's got like the little knob on here that you can use for finger tightening which is kind of just convenient because it's three different ways you can tighten your camera in here it slides back and forth just in case you want to set your camera differently the screw tightening tensioning bolt is super super sturdy it feels awesome on here it's all metal construction there are two levels in here one here and one on the nab itself so when you do your um, vertical you can see there you have your options to go vertical you always have a level to take a look at what you're doing which is kind of convenient and lets you know your level the bottom of this this screws off that's when you can flip it into inverted and it just slides right out I have it tightened but it just slides right out you flip it put it back in and voila screw it back on done the screw also has a cool little hook I'll put it back in for you you can hook on a weight you can hook on your camera bag what's cool about that is it makes this tripod that much sturdier if you're shooting mirrorless you're gonna have a problem maybe with it being too light you don't want to like the wind to blow it over you can add as 
much weight as you pretty much want onto this hook and keep your camera stabilized and not moving which is awesome I thoroughly love this tripod it's 70 bucks it's the first like actual semi-professional tripod I've owned I don't foresee me using any other tripod anytime soon it's it's just strong it's nice this grip I think I showed you has the uh, ability to it changes into a monopod the mono is not too high so like you're not gonna get up to eye level you're gonna do some crouching but for it to all be in one little travel uh, unit there's nothing wrong with that so the legs themselves they are these flip tabs which come out and telescope super easy I really like that feature some if they were like these twist knobs these tensioners I probably wouldn't have liked it as much because it takes a lot longer to set that up but because they are telescoping and they're just quick release latches you can set this tripod up in a hurry if you need to get that good shot you know so if you're using this tripod for a YouTube it's gonna be more than you need the feet on this thing are like a really seems very sturdy kind of rubber the handle on here is just nice because if it's cold you're not gonna freeze your fingers off so I'm gonna take a moment here to not talk about the tripod but just to kind of plug to buddy if you guys are using this for YouTube probably the reason why you searched and found this video was because I used TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is uh, if you haven't I'm sure you've heard of it but if you haven't it is an awesome program set up to help youtubers find keywords and um, look at their traffic and just see what they are doing like they give you all kinds of help there's a free part of the program that you can use that's gonna help you really cool thing is they give you little missions that you can do like as easy as taking a survey to set up or get you a week of a paid kind of uh, subscription to it without actually paying so I thought that was really dope that they do that for people who maybe can't afford the, like 20 bucks a month or whatever it is but there is a link to TubeBuddy if you're making YouTube videos and you want to get better at keywords and S SEO SEO then use TubeBuddy check it out my link is down below also this tripod is linked in the comments below and the rest of my gear, my Lumix G7s down there, just anything. If you have any questions about this tripod, let me know. There's a lot like it, but this one is mine. Tell me what movie that was from. There are many like it, but this one is mine. That's all I got. Hope you found this informative. Let me know. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. And Luke out. Luke deuces.